Jeremy Marquez here, J Marketing. So I just set a really good appointment and I'm gonna play the recording and talk about it while the recording is playing, okay? So this is the property here. Um, it's currently listed for sale by owner. It's listed at 649500 down in the Tampa St. Pete market. And I'm gonna go ahead and play the call and we'll talk about it as it's playing, okay? Hi, this is Jeremy with Frank Albert Realty calling for Carla or Carl. Yep, this is Carla. Hey, Carla. I was just giving a quick call about the property that you guys were selling on Ben Lebon. Did you guys get sold or is it still available? It's still on there. Um, it's still available. Okay. Well, I was thinking that it was been on since, you know, the end of July. So, you know, with the market being so hot, I wanted to ask if it was available still. Yes. But you guys were asking six thirty five for it. Is that still the, is it still the six thirty five? Well, what we did was we um, we put it on Zillow, so Zillow only, um, at like you know like a soft. So she's getting ready to explain that it was initially just a for sale by owner, but they used a limited listing service to put it on the MLS. Like kind of like a soft opening, just to see kind of what kind of interest you would get locally. You know, because right. um, Temple Terrace tends to, um, a lot of uh, people tend to move around the neighborhood, and such as we did, you know. So we had one property, and then the house went for sale, and then we ended up moving to a bigger home in the neighborhood. So we initially listed it on Zillow for um, 635 and again, just for... So when it was on Zillow, it was only 635 but now that they put it online as a limited listing, just so it can be on the MLS... It um, it's at six forty nine. Okay, and I try to talk as little as possible and just let her talk. For anyone that's locally looking themselves, oh, and wow. then about fifteen, and then it's been. Then we went ahead and put it on the MLS, so it's still for sale by owner. It's on the MLS, um, and so since we put it on the MLS, we put it up to six forty nine five. So that's where we're. Yeah. So that's currently where we're at, where we've been on the market, I think, like 15 or 16 days. So, mm hmm mm hmm Did you, so, like, um, did you put it on yourself, or did you use a limited listing service? A, a limited listing service. Okay. Oh, or not, I don't even know, I don't know if it's limited listing. So if you guys aren't familiar with that, there's flat, there's services that you can, realtors will, you pay them a fee, and they put it online for you, basically on the MLS. They'll get your uh, listing more traction, and it's still a for sale by owner. That realtor is not the listing agent; they're just putting it online. It's just what we did was we paid a realtor to put it on the on the MLS for us to right. you know uh, to, to, to you know put it on the MLS, so then that way there's a little bit more traction with it. And then again, people looking, at, you know, it, it it all really depends. I mean, obviously, I mean. It depends what, I mean, I, I'm a contractor, I'm a Tampa native, I was born and raised in High Park. So, so she knows her stuff. Um, I'm familiar with, you know, I have family that's realtors, all that. So basically, she knows her stuff, um, she knows the, the market, she's from the area, she's a contractor, so we definitely want to recognize that and not downplay that, right? Good stuff, and, um, you know, because the market's so hot relatively and because interest rates are so low um but again it takes you know this is a special house so um so it, and it's a larger home um the square footage and stuff like that then also too it all depends on where you want to be in tampa as well so i think temple terrace is tampa's best kept secret i don't think people really realize that they want to be there until they they get there you know, so as far as location, convenience, that sort of thing. So, um, you know, it's all it's all relative too. So, um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at. So we've been on the market um, with the MLS for about I think fifteen or sixteen days. I haven't looked, and so and right now we're at six forty nine five. Have you gotten any offers that are in the ballpark? So I start digging in a little we bit. We have not. No offers. Now, I'll just get to the point because I don't want to waste too much of your time here. Uh, if you can't get it sold in a certain period of time, 
I get the feeling that she's a little bit overpriced and it sounds like she's emotionally attached to the property. So it may be a difficult situation, but uh, it's already been converted and assigned to one of our agents who's going to be handling that. So uh, let me fast forward a little bit in the call. For the price that you want. So we have, we have, we have other places to go. We just haven't. Just so I asked about, you know, what the plans were when they sell. And that's what she's talking about now. Decided exactly where we want to go. Is it, are you guys still occupying it or is it vacant? Oh no, it's occupied. And this is seven and a half minutes into the call. It ends up being a 15 minute call. Long story short, um, after the call, we sent a text message and we were able to actually set up an appointment. And one of our agents that I work with is going to be going out Friday to meet with them. So it ended up being an appointment. So. It, I mean, it's, it's part time occupied and we've been most of our times up in Ocala. So these people are fairly well off. This is just one of their properties. And she also gives me information to where she actually owns this property outright. Uh, so they don't have to sell this. However, they're they're doing that because it's the market's really hot right now, and they're just trying to see what they can get for it. Pala, so at our lake house. So, is there anything else that I should know for the team if, for any buyers that we might have? No, mm -mm. I mean we can you know we can opt, we can you know release it quickly i mean that you know time is of the essence and stuff so traditionally what's been happening in the neighborhood there is there's a lot of it's more out-of-state buyers that have been coming into that neighborhood in particular and buying homes like these so um so over the last year or so so that's kind of you know where we're at and just kind of and, it, and it, we don't have to sell it or or was we're kind of almost just testing the market right now too so that's kind of where we're at. We own it, at right. photos, it, it looks great. With a, I love the so she's just kind of testing the market. They don't have to sell. And this is when I start complimenting on the photos and the property, right? What you do with the photos and, you know, that area is awesome. And like you said, the property is huge. So it does take a particular buyer. So I hear everything that you're saying here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, so, you know, the one the thing photos, is, yeah, it's great. I mean, well, I have it priced at 156 per square foot. You couldn't build this. So I know that she is a talker, so I try not to talk too much and just let her talk. How for $156 a square foot. However, you know, right. you have to understand that something's only worth what someone's willing to pay for it, too. So, um, you know, and the thing about it is everything's negotiable. So, I mean, right. it's just a matter of, you know, if you have an interested buyer and then that, then you can go into negotiations with that. So, I mean, a tremendous amount of work did go into the house from when we purchased it back in, I think it was, what, five years ago, 2013, um, or 14, I don't even remember. But, um, you know, it's a very unique house and it's very, again, the colonial style. It, it's going to appeal to a certain buyer. Now that everyone likes thing is a little bit more modernized so that's the other thing too is that you know it's just going with the trends and this house isn't one of those trendy homes that you know you're seeing you know all over on tv and this and that this is more of a traditional you know so it, it does take a certain buyer and you know again it's two stories and not somebody for young kids because of the size of the house and you know stuff like that so i mean it's it, it, it you know but it for me, um, it was my favorite house in the neighborhood. So when I saw it for, go for sale by owner, I was like, I'm buying a house. <laughs> With or without my husband, I was going to buy that house. So, and I wanted so that house. And, you know, that's it was, how you found it? And we, uh, I'm sorry? That's how you found it? It was a for sale by owner previously? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was a for sale by owner. He didn't advertise it. Um, it was a big time attorney for Tampa. Um, but okay. he, you know, again, he felt like it was going to be more of a local buyer that buy the house. And it was, like I said, that was my favorite house in the neighborhood. And so as I was driving, the only thing that the only advertisement he ever put was a for sale, a for sale by owner sign at the end of the road. There was no listing on Zillow. There was no, there was nowhere to find it. <laughs> he was in the process of interviewing, um, you know, um, realtors and stuff. And I was the second person to come in and look at it and bought it. So, um, how long ago was that? Yeah. Did you got the, how long how long ago did you guys buy it? 
It was, I think it was, you know, I think it was, uh, I guess it was probably about five years ago. So 2014, 2015, um, or it wasn't 2015, it was 2013 or 2014, but I bought it and it was built by a custom builder out of like Virginia or something because the colonial style back, you know, when they built, had it built in 83 and they didn't touch it. So it was all wallpaper and stuff like that. So it took me about a year to do everything I wanted to do to the home. So, so I bought it and then took my time with it. Because, I mean, it's very, it's a very traditional custom, you know, with the moldings and everything like that. There's, there's a lot that went into it. So, and with this house, because it's so compartmentalized and stuff, pictures really don't do it justice. So that's why I kept the pictures really kind of limited because I wanted to build intrigue. But yet, when you come and see the house, there's a lot of surprises that come along with it. So, and that's what happened to me. They were very limited on the pictures, but from the curb appeal and the type of house, it appealed to me that I, like, had to see the house. I wanted to see what it had to offer. And then once I got into the house, it had, like, all these different surprises that was just like, oh, my gosh, I love this. Oh, my gosh, I love this. And this. Because there's a lot of times from photos, you'll view for me, because I've been looking for a property up here in Jacksonville for over a year you'll see these pictures and then like you get these high expectations. And then when you go and see it, you know, it's kind of a letdown and that's kind of what happens happened with me on multiple occasions. So with this, it's like, I almost want to surprise the buyer once they come in and then they're like, you know, because it is cool. I mean, there's a, there's a grand fireplace in the kitchen. I mean, so I will probably be updating the photos here soon, but there's a huge there's a huge fireplace in the kitchen right by the kitchen um, nook. Um, there's two staircases, so you have the first main staircase and then you have the back staircase, and it's just so it's it, it's it's compartmentalized. However, it has a good flow and it's a great house for entertaining and stuff. It has a grand lanai with. So again, guys, this is a call recording from an appointment that know, I just it, said. It but again. It all is going to appeal to someone that wants that kind of custom, traditional vibe. So after the call, um, like I said, we had text messaged and emailed, and it actually went on calendar. So one of our team members will be going out there Friday and meeting with her. And so I'll update you guys on the result. And this is what I do all day, every day, guys. Realtors and brokers hire me to make cold calls and set appointments. If you are needing some appointments or interested in delegating some prospecting to me, shoot me a, or also I'm available for some co coaching and consulting and training. So I'm Jeremy, J Marketing. I call, you close. Have a good day, guys.